Hey what's up guys, in this video we are going to talk about static member functions in C++ programming. The static member functions does not belong to any particular object of the class. Like in example here we have one class called test and inside the class we have one static function called print. And the static functions can be invoked using one object with the dot operator or they can be invoked using one class name with the scope resolution operator. Like in example, inside the main method, either we can call the static function using the object with one dot operator or we can use the class name with one scope resolution operator. And in both the cases, we can access the static function of that class. Now the static member functions are only allowed to access the static data member or static member function. And the static functions cannot access the instance data member or instance member function. So in this example program, inside the class test, we are going to create one static member function. So we are going to create static void print and every time we call the print function, it is going to print static function onto the console. Now to call the static function, either we can use one object of the class test and we can use the object with one dot operator and we can call the print function or we can use the name of the class along with one scope resolution operator and we can call the print function. So I'm going to save this program and I'm going to run the program. And you can see in both of the ways we can invoke the static member function. So we can create one static member function using the static keyword and then to invoke the static member function either we can use one object along with one dot operator or we can use the class name along with one scope resolution operator and in both of the cases we can invoke the static member function. So hope you understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.